So we're back on um, the way Carter killed my dad, season four, two thousand eighteen. So <clears throat> we're gonna start off with um, Birdman signs new artist Glock Nine. Go and check them out. You know, it's from um, I believe from Florida. But anyway, we got Lil Wayne also, you know, dropping the Carter Five coming soon, you know what I'm saying? So I gotta go and check that out. So we're doing this a little differently. You know, we did we because my computer got all this, we only got megabytes. I mean not megabytes, but um yeah, megabytes left up on our computer while we have supposed to have seven hundred and something gigabytes, but you know, so I can't put videos down, you know, it's we get less um recording, um I mean less megabytes, gigabytes, posting it up on audio. So that's why I was at the beginning of this, you know, we're gonna do it a little differently. So but anyway we got Birdman signing new artists. You know, um he signed Glock Nine. Um you know so, plus my YouTubers, you know, um, here's some, uh, my subscribers, you know, I subscribe to them, so, um, you know, I, I told them, um, you know, you know, I was looking at their videos, and, you know, they was saying how they get famous and all that, you know, this is the conspiracy, uh, channels right here, now, I ain't talking about no rappers, underground rappers, anything like that, so, this is the conspiracy theories, you know, um, channels so you know I was just you know checking them out they was like this is how I became famous talk about you know there's a Alex Jones this and that you know so um, I was checking his stuff out and you know he was talking about uh, talking about the mainstream media was talking about his channel up on YouTube but they didn't say his name or his channel's name on um, national media they just say this YouTube channel. So he, you know, he got offended about that. But, you know, he knows and we know where, you know, what what, he, what that the news was talking about, where it comes from. Straight from his channel. But he was exposing that, you know, he's like, well, I'm famous on YouTube. But when they talking about, talking about this YouTube channel on, you know what I'm saying, on, um, um, mainstream media news stations, but they don't say the name of the YouTube channel. That's what his expression was all about. But you know, we got um, Lil Wayne, got Nicki Minaj, you know, she came out number two on the Billboard artist. So, and then I guess she got mad some other um, company records, uh, which starts with an S with a green logo. Um, you know, I don't know how to say, but, uh, <laughs> but anyway, you know what I'm saying, they, 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 you know, punished Nicki Minaj all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying, just because she dropped her music, um, Korean radio out on, um, out in, you know what I'm saying, and out in public, and now they get mad at her, and they, they punished her, she said, and she's going off on social media, up on tweets and posting, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just, you know, just looking at that, you know what I'm saying? And Lil Wayne, you know what I'm saying? I know he gets that, can't forget about him being the best. No, I'm just playing, but they, they um, a country reward singer sent him some, some, Big town, you know what I'm saying? Some trophies, like four of them. And that's a, like a country singer, you know what I'm saying? Signed out to Lil Wayne or something like that. But anyway, you know, it's just a little mix up. Um, Lil Wayne had and Big Town, I guess. So, you know what I'm saying? They sent trophies his way and I guess they were signed to him. I'm not sure if they were signed to him or just trophies awards. They had no names on it or different other people names. So... Anyway, you know, that's what we're doing right now. We're just looking out. You know, I got to go back and go and see what's really going on. You know what I'm saying? Because it seems like Lil Wayne right now is, um, 
is August the 20th. Twenty first, two thousand and eight. So it's August the twenty first, two thousand and eight, and you know we're holding it down. We're just getting updates, and so this is it. Uh, Dwayne Carter killed my dad, season four. But we're back. Um, now we're talking about. So I got some more updates. Today is um, August twenty first, two thousand eighteen. Jane Jones, future in Lil Wayne. Go crazy. Um, apparently you can see a goat on the thing with a crown on his head in his video with his tongue sticking out to the left. So hopefully I can get a picture of that. So you know what I'm saying. We can have some proof. I'm going to be posting it up on here. So you know. And plus, you know, it's gonna, he's going to be talking crazy, you know, talking about all oh, how he gets this, how is it so amazing, how he's rich and famous for killing somebody and going platinum um, from the fall five. But, you know, so we got this um, sheep, you know, on Lil Wayne's, um, well, it's actually on Jane, J. Jones. Go crazy future in Lil Wayne, you know what I'm saying? He got the crown on the sheep's head with his tongue sticking out, hanging to the left, you know, sticking out and to the sideways, just like my dad's death. But anyway, you know, so we're just going to be talking about what we see, you know. So apparently he's, um, I heard about Birdman going, you know, calling him out for some reason, you know. But I don't think, um, what's his face, um, Lil Wayne want to, you know, discuss the problems out with Birdman. So Lil Wayne, I heard that um, he's dropping the Carter Five with the with the Young Money Artists, you know, label. So it's going to be the Carter Five. It's going to be released from Young Money. So we're getting all that, you know what I'm saying? So we got Jay Jones, Go Crazy, featuring Lil Wayne. And there's the sheep, the goat, with his tongue sticking out, you know. I mean, they could rag all they want, but we already going to prove it, you know, that they don't want beef. I mean, they try to kill me, you know, didn't succeed. You know, they can't get me out in a in a shootout, you know what I'm saying, because this is, this is right here, you know. Talking about Lil Wayne, you know what I'm saying, and then all of a sudden it's going to be... You know who the cause is. You know what I'm saying? So that's probably why they're trying to find ways to hack me. Any possibilities whatsoever to try to hack my new channel that I posted up back in 2015 about this Dwayne Carter, you know. So this is season four on it. But, you know, they're trying to find ways to, you know, stop me. So it won't be all. Uh, Apparently, they already got my other channel. See, um, I had a playlist of um, all my Dwayne Carters, but I seen that one was a private video. So, you know, I could think of all passwords that I did, you know what I'm saying, and trying to go up on that website, on that channel, and I bet you any amount of money right now that, you know, I can't be, uh, it's a change new password. You know, they, they probably already hacked into the, to the um, the things again, you know, how to cancel out all my credit cards, how to get new ones, you know what I'm saying, they tried to take my identity, you know, that's what I believe, you know, but yeah, apparently they was buying dresses and all kinds off of my, um, <clears throat> excuse me, off my um, credit cards under my um, little smoky gtownstudios.com when I had my credit card purchase on a website like Amazon or something like that and here they are using my credit cards you know they, they do the scandalous stuff you know what I'm saying I even had a studio up you know with his own domain and they took that down I mean they 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 hate so much that they try to do any other possible way try to just shut me down just like they did with Alex Jones up on YouTube, Facebook, you know. But right now we're just holding it down, talking about Dwayne Carter. You know what I'm saying? So 
let them see what's else, you know. So he's always just, you know, goofing around with his people, you know, hanging out with his tongue, you know, flipping people off. I mean, right in their face. I mean, if you flip me off, you know, I mean, have my have your finger right on the side of my cheeks while you're looking at the camera, flipping me off. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna call that like disrespect. Like he don't give a shit about you. He don't give a shit about the the world. Because when he always gets an interview, he goes, hello, world. How are you? And then look at this some um, pictures. Look at most of his pictures up on LilWayneHQ.com. And you'll see mo most pictures of him is always flipping somebody off. I mean, he can't have a, a decent, you know what I'm saying, a decent photos, you know, with his fans without, you know, basically... Flipping him off, he's with his crowd, you know, his um entourage, you know, and you know he he just acts big and bad, you know, and when Birdman calls him out and all that, he just don't, you know, he's trying to act like Birdman now. He got a big cigar, you know what I'm saying? Flipping off the camera, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Saying hello world, fuck you, you know. <laughs> Let's see what this title claims. Birdman claims Little Wayne, and. Crows O'Brien have been plotting with their lawyers to earn a bigger share of Drake profits. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they always trying to, you know what I'm saying, scheme, you know, your money, new money, uh, cash money, you know what I'm saying? I mean, Drake belongs to rap a lot. That's from Houston, you know what I'm saying? So, from rap a lot, you know what I'm saying? So, here they are, I'm seeing... That Birdman claims Little Wayne, so that's Little Wayne, and one of his um, I think that's his manager, having been plotting with their lawyers to earn a bigger share of Drake's profit. So he ain't even satisfied with the ten million plus, and dropping the car the car to five out. You know he just ain't appreciating that he's scheming on this guy that they signed to. To young money, you know what I'm saying, and been found by, you know what I'm saying, by funded by rap a lot. So here they are talking about they with their lawyers, you know what I'm saying. So he just ain't satisfied. His manager ain't satisfied. They just want a bigger plot of people, like they gonna probably gonna be doing very man, you know, try to be doing with Glock line turns. Like we seen Lil Wayne, you know. But, you know, since he wants to be flipping people off, you know what I'm saying? Uh, acting stupid, dumb, dumb in the world, you know what I'm saying? Check this title out. Lil Wayne attends two chains in Kasha Ward Wedding in Miami. I mean, he, he's, you know what I'm saying? His style... I ain't even going to talk about his style, but you know what I'm saying? He's always doing, you know, mocking the dead, you know what I'm saying? Especially my dad when it comes out to it. Then he, he starts out this rally, you know what I'm saying, talking about the people out here, saying, do this, and then we don't even have to worry about Lil Wayne no more. We have to worry about these motherfucking individual people, as I've been saying about in season one. About how them people, and it just, it's a nobody, you know what I'm saying? Just individual people trying to bring me down, stop my network, what's your password, whoop de whoop, you know what I'm saying? So, huh. so here we are now, you know what I'm saying? We, we're just, we're just, you know, looking, you know, trying to look out for myself and be on top, you know what I'm saying? They're trying to, you know, blind throw me with the smoke screens and all that, talk, you know, trying to, yeah, yeah. Uh, with these societies out here, you know, they're going to get theirs. I'm already watching it, you know what I'm saying? I'm sitting back watching on my wild screen, praising, you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry I had to be that way, but I'm praising. I don't give a fuck, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I missed it on the world news. He was kicking somebody out who was a, well, he wasn't a citizen of the United States, but he's like Muslim or something, but he stayed here for about, back in the 60s. And they just threw him out. He couldn't even walk. He was on an oxygen tank. And his neighbors and community was just out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, 
you know, get them out of here, you know what I'm saying, get them out of this country, you don't belong here, I mean, just up on about it, it was crazy, I seen him up on the stretcher getting put into like an ambulance, getting taken out the country, getting on a plane and, you know, extradited to his country, <laughs> wow, when you think you've just seen it, you, you haven't even seen it, you know what I'm saying, so, you know, they, they're they actors, mostly, you know what I'm saying? When we, when we got the stuff, you know what I'm saying? The steals and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Now we certified as a nut, so you can't, you know, so you do your thing. You're going to make it look legal then, so, because, it, oh, yeah, it's illegal for you having a gun because you're a nutcase, you know what I'm saying? So we just, uh, yeah, check every room. Where's my mom at, you know what I'm saying? When that day happened, so that's what I'm saying, you know. But then you got Lil Wayne smiling out here, you know what I'm saying? You know, oh, look at me, I'm a killer, but I'm the pussy that came up and, you know, the old folks song, the motherfucker, the thinking that it's a block where everybody got a Glock, you know what I'm saying? I'm coming right here, surely but surely, and things already happened. The motherfucker's halfway to his apartment complex, come on now. And he's out here right now, like, you know, with the cheese, you know, back in the days, you know what I'm saying? After about 2000, say, 4, 2004 and last, 2005 and last, like in the 90s, he was always what? He was always, you know, uh, just, you know, he, he didn't have a smile on his face. He was, you know, oh, man, I'm never satisfied, you know, you got this guy, you know. And first... When you come look at it, like, turn the lights out and all that, they was trying to talk about, they're going to get me. <clears throat> you know, oh, I'm going to be the one that's getting died. You know what I'm saying? I, they're coming after me, all right. You know what I'm saying? But they didn't want to dress me like a man. You know what I'm saying? They had it dressed in their music. You know what I'm saying? And what the only thing you get on the radio is back that thing up. You and I future in Lil Wayne. You know, it was the only one playing from Lil Wayne at the time, back in the 90s, up in a 405. You know what I'm saying? It was only back that thing up. Future, I mean, juvenile future Lil Wayne. That's the only radio play we had anything about Lil Wayne back in the early 90s. So, you know, he didn't want to address me like me. And then he... Then he changed his plot and schemes back in probably in the in the late late two thousand three, early two thousand four. Then he was up there talking about my dad. Oh, 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 Kirk just too tough, you know what I'm saying? Oh, we had his we scouting him, you know, lurking it, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, it, he's crazy, you know what I'm saying? And then, but then you know what I'm saying? And then you're talking about the the. The dad now, you know, the, with the heart patient, you know, medical condition, you know what I'm saying? Got a, got a, not like a psycho nut medical condition. I'm talking about a heart failure, about to need to get a transplant first in line, you know what I'm saying? It's coming up in a couple of days, you're going to have this new heart. So, you know what I'm saying? Like that. But, <laughs> And then he had to worry about these motherfuckers busting in. He got to yell, hey, you know what I'm saying? And uh, come on, man. You got to take out three people while he's doing the rules of life. You know what I'm saying? Obeying the rules. You know what I'm saying? So I'm breaking in. He's going to kick some ass. So he throw Chris down. You know what I'm saying? Julian's the last one in. You know, got Lil Wayne back up against the wall. Dad's throwing double combos. You know what I'm saying? Gave him two bloody eyes, not just black eyes, he even says it in his rap, you know, rap city, you know what I'm saying, talking about, talking about my dad, you know what I'm saying, gave him a double combo, hit him with both eyes, you know what I'm saying, made his eyes please, but you know what I'm saying, so he's pulling that string anyways, and then, you know, beep, 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 you know, the alarm post be going off, he ain't, you know, they turn it off, you know what I'm saying, and he, he's like, what the hell's going on, and you know what I'm saying, they shut the door, you know what I'm saying, the only thing that was locked was the handle lock from the door, which you can lock it from the inside and walk out, you know what I'm saying, when I stayed there, there was multiple locks, you know what I'm saying, there was 
that lock, the handle lock, then you had a bolt lock, and then you had a keychain lock. You know what I'm saying? So that didn't add up at the you know the first time. So and then we we see him right now just out here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, praising the Lord. You know what I'm saying? When he's really praising the devil and just get yeah, all this um, democracy, all this symbolism, and oh yeah, he'll save me just for uh just for temporary. But when it's sad, you know what I'm saying? That's gonna be permanent. You know he's yeah. So you know what I'm saying. So all he gotta do is really is um just kick back and chill. This bitch, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. He up there looking like he's wearing red lipstick on his bottom lips. I mean, you can go to it right now. I'll give you the thing. Screenshot from Swiss Beats and Lil Wayne upcoming music video. I mean, I didn't add this up on their website right now. Let's give you the date. Wednesday, August 15, 2008 by Donnie M. You know what I'm saying? It looks like he's, he's wearing like a pinkish, red, violet, blue lips. I mean, he'll, 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 you know, he'll wear them girl pants and have all his fans like Justin Bieber. You know, Justin Bieber got the, you know what I'm saying, the, ki uh, the kids and the teens. Wearing girl pants now. You know what I'm saying? Now, he's wearing lipstick. Just a beaver. Before you know, he's going to be wearing lipstick. And then, all the guys in the world's going to be, most of them, going to be li wearing lipstick. Going to have an eyeliner on. It's going to be a, it's going to be a, it's going to be a mess. I ain't trying to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? That's your life. Do what you got to do. You know, so. <laughs> But anyway, we're on this um, season four. We had to do audio because we got less, you know, gigabytes up on my computer. So, so here it goes. Check this one out. Bum B has a col collaboration with Lil Wayne on his return of the Trill album. You know, you don't even have. It probably got old Pimp C on it, but you know what I'm saying? When it when his last days was there, apparently that, you know, Pimp C felt like Bun B wasn't really a true friend at the end. So, <clears throat> so you know what I'm saying? You can just go with that. Just look it up. There's some guy, apparently he got a, a letter from, um, from his, um, you know, belongings, a letter he probably sent from the penitentiary in Harris County um, to him, basically saying that, you know what I'm saying, I don't feel like Bum B, he's really my friend, and all this other stuff like that, really ain't down with him, just like a, uh, like a backstabber, two-faced, so, you know. But you know what I'm saying, the and you you can always hear Lil Wayne talking about if you ain't trill, you know, you ain't real. I mean, what the hell is a trill? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, oh, that's the southern south and you know, I'm on to conspiracy then. <laughs> I ain't worried about your uh oh, you, your little uh logos, your your you know what I'm saying, your MasterCards, your prepaid uh, credit cards, you know, your clothing line, you know, your toys, action figures. I ain't looking for all that from y'all. I ain't going to support you anyway, anyhow, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm off to my thing. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so when they saying that they trill, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, this is a trill. Saying something that I don't even know anything about. I'm just... I'm going to conspiracies then, you know, I'm turning my back, walking away, like, what the hell, that motherfucker thing. Shit, I'm trying to save your phone, I'm trying to get up in that ship, and double dip that, ride that high. <laughs> but anyway, you know what I'm saying? Um, kind of catch up on, you know, shit. The motherfuckers up there, mocking the dead, you know what I'm saying? Think they, 
their joy life. I'm enjoying life, mocking the dead, you know what I'm saying? So, that's what happened, you know what I'm saying? So, when they come up dead one day with massive heart attack, a fucking OD, you know what I'm saying? A fucking uh, a seizure, plot head, a uh, fucking... I don't know, but anyway, you know, and then he got his last figures of his death, boy, if they don't even have a picture of him, of his death picture of his final moments, you know, you can always make it up, even five times more to the rich, you know, I'm just saying, though, yeah, tell everybody that, cause this shit's still gonna be coming from society, I be loving it when the motherfuckers get, you know, all up in that motherfucking shit. Just ripping through the skin, through tissues. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Seeing the aftermath, that oh, it's a mess. That's the society right there. When you're working at a labor force company and you're going inside a, you know, cleaning out the aftermath of a of a show in the forefield um, center or a basketball game, Olympics, whatever, you know, you clean up these motherfuckers, people's trash, you see some disgusting shit, I'm talking about just nasty ass shit, they don't even take, you know, take care of their stuff, diapers and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying, yeah, that's society for you, nasty, sick fucks.